everybody, it's easy. This is um, post voice implosion, is what I'm gonna call it. But well, bring you a very special video. This is this is Creepers Conquest. This is a page on our website dedicated directly towards one of our players, Creeper. Um, give you a little background while I watch the first attack. The first attack is a Dragaloon, one of the, the attacks that he's famous for in the clan. Um, probably one of the best air attackers I've ever seen, and you're gonna see a bunch of air attacks. Now, you don't see him as much in the, on the YouTube channel as some of the other players because just because of the role that we ask him to play, which kind of sucks for him because he has so many good attacks, but we ask him to dip down a lot in war because he has uh, a, quite a few accounts. So he's the guy that can change the whole war for us. When he's on, he can get 15 or 20 stars, and. Um, doesn't always dip down as you'll see in this video but this video right here is going to be one of many on this page it's uh it's going to be on the website the website www.clashmadeeasy.com and this would be slash creepers Con conquest which no one's going to be able to figure that out because i didn't put it in the video <laughs> uh, i suck all right anyway his first attack was actually by creepo this is one of his this was his baby account and um, like me, I have several accounts, and he got them all the same way as I did. Uh, his kids started them, and then they figured out, if they were anything like my kids who started their accounts, and then figured out, oh, this is too much like work. So they bailed out, and I took over. So that's why I have more than one account. We actually have to take over for our kids. Imagine that. When the parents take over for the kids playing games. <laughs> There's got to be something to be said about that. Uh, anyway, first attack from Creeper, Dragaloon, we got another one, we got a, a couple more Dragaloons coming up. Now, because uh, of my expert editing, you didn't get to see the best part of the attack, but this next attack, pay attention to the very beginning of the attack, that's why I left so much of the end of this attack, I didn't cut it out. Pay attention to the very beginning of the attack, because this is how he starts off a lot of these air attacks. And it's really vital if you are a person that wants to try to get into air attacks to be able to take out the clan castle troops because they can impose a huge problem for you. Uh, one lava hound in the clan castle can really topple a dragon attack. And he's doing dragon attacks in Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10. And in Town Hall 9, it's not easy to do dragon attacks. The air defenses are, are stronger than the dragons. But now, he pulls the clan castle troops out. <laughs> He's already earthquake the core, and right now he's, he drops two balloons in, pulls the clan castle troops out, but doesn't do anything to him right there. What he does now is he drops another troop up in that top corner. Uh, you can't see it in the screen, but as the troops are crossing over the air defenses, they, there goes the lightning spells. Now the baby dragon survives, but the witch does not, and the baby dragon's injured. So now he easily comes in and takes out the baby dragon. Because you know the baby dragon is doing just as much damage as a regular dragon. It has half the hit points, but this much damage when it's enraged. So now he starts off with the actual attack, and he spreads the dragons out. Now, uh, the dragon attack is usually everyone's first big attack. In Town Hall 7, you get your dragons, and everyone's doing these dragon attacks. And so you find out right away how difficult it is to control them, and you learn uh, the word funneling, and how to funnel your troops. Well, <clears throat> what he does so well is he has these dragons on a leash. They do exactly what he needs them to do pretty much every single attack. And as they're pushing through the, through the base, the biggest threat of the air defenses, so on the back side of the base he puts in a lava hound, and then he hastes over a bunch of balloons on top of the air defense before it really starts pounding on the dragons. And at this point, the uh, air defense is down, dragons are all still up, uh, and he maybe loses one troop. He hasn't even deployed the heroes yet. And he'll save the heroes as his cleanup troops. Anyone who's uh, watched any of the last videos, we've just remade a series uh, called The Beginner's Guide to Th the Three Star. And um, something that we really stress in the series is to have cleanup troops. And uh, ironically, he saves the heroes for cleanup troops. I don't even know if he deploys them this attack. He doesn't really need to. And again, it's a dip down attack. It's an over overwhelming attack anyway. Um, you know... M Players without Creeper's skill would probably, you know, could 3-star at least 50% of the time on something like this. But believe it or not, if you are an amateur player, you can have Town Hall 10 maxed out dragons and attack a Town Hall 8 and have the Town Hall 8 air defenses dismantle those dragons because that's how strong air defenses are. So, we're going to switch gears a little bit. We're going to go to the Builder Base. 
you know, there's, there's been a lot of focus on the builder base uh, on, on some YouTubers. Uh, there's a, there's a, not a ton my, in my particular clan. We're not pushing to try to get it. But I personally think that the builder base is going to probably uh, supercell its way into the esports with with Clash of Clans, kind of like they did with Clash Royale. They're in the esports. They got big tournaments going on. They have all this exciting stuff going on, and they and I have a feeling that they want to get Clash of Clans in there too. And the builder base is going to be the way to do it. Right now we're attacking. Uh, right now we're attacking the computer. Even though there's two attacks going on at one time. You have your opponent's attacking you, and you're attacking your opponent, and you know it's a simultaneous attack. Um, you're still attacking the computer's AI. You're not really attacking the player's defense. So that's that's something that I don't know what the, how they're going to work that all in and to make it an exciting thing. Um, but they're working on that. Now this attack is not as easy as you think, because if the archers get close to anything, they get wiped out. They're they're pretty weak. Uh, but he sends the giants in. The giants do take out anything that has any any kind of range on it, and the archers just kind of come in right afterwards and clean up. Um, the troops in the builder base are not quite the same as the troops in your regular base. There are troops in the, uh, on your regular base that you would never think would be powerful enough to get through bases like archers, but yet in the builder base, they're big time weapons if you know how to use them right. So that was a giant archer raid. I, we don't, I don't really know the the title for that but we call it the Jai Arch <laughs> so next one is the slap this is from one of his bigger accounts it actually started off that we had planned for a long time and he ended up taking over for him and um, been pushing ahead and pushing ahead this account was a baby account and what he, because we had s uh, such a huge problem with engineered clans we decided to push ahead some uh, several of our players so we can compete with the engineer clans and weapon is one of them and uh, what a weapon this this account is now uh, the slap for anyone who doesn't know what the slap is it has a couple of different walks in other words you're going to put in uh, th i think three witches in one place with uh, several healers behind them and a couple of bowlers with them so you have this big cluster of troops witches bowlers healers and then you put another cluster of troops exactly the same and you usually start off in two corners of the base and as those troops are going around the outside of the base with those healers protecting them and with the bowlers long range over the walls and with the witches spawning skeletons and spawning skeletons and the skeletons you know they get taken up by the defenses but the traps don't affect the skeletons so they live they, they're living a long time and then meanwhile you have a big group of bowlers and your heroes and 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 uh Whatever clan castle troops you choose, some people choose to put giants in, some people choose the golem, some people choose uh, more bowlers. Uh, there's an assortment of different ways to do the slap attack, and it's, uh, you know, probably the strongest attack in Clash. I know uh, clans that attack us and that have been able to three-star every one of our players, about 50% of the attacks have been with the slap. And a lot of players that are newer to the town hall level, so they just got the town hall 10, they just got their bowlers. Well, they are going crazy with this attack because it's kind of a mass attack, kind of spammy attack. Um, a lot can go wrong. Bowlers are very flimsy. If you're not a smart player and you don't understand the concept of the traps and uh, and pathing and, and funneling, this attack is not easy. But if you do understand all that, it's one of the simpler attacks to uh, to master to some degree. You know, I, ha I hate to downplay great attacks because... Uh, the troop composition is just so powerful, but you know, it, it's the, the old saying, uh, it is what it is. This is one of those powerful troop combinations where it, uh, it kind of takes care of itself. But that was a brand new Town Hall 11. It just got to level 5 with the Warden. Kind of lower level heroes, 15 and 16 level uh, King and Queen. So by no means an overpowering uh, group of troops. But yet, walk right through that. And this attack, to me, this is the second time I've shown this attack in a video. This is a very impressive attack for me. Uh, starts off with nine bowlers, three witches, and a bunch of healers. And, uh, and not counting the clan castle troops. Uh, this is Stalker. Uh, now, if you noticed, we've had four different names. <laughs> it's amazing how he can do this. And how fast he can pull off ten attacks. I've seen him do ten attacks in 15 minutes amazing or 20 minutes or whatever 
Uh, so this is a Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10, probably the toughest matchup in Clash. This base had kicked our asses, and he came through and just pummeled it. And what he did that no one else could do well was he kept those troops alive going around the outside, and he brings a big cluster of troops to the core. And really, what happened to there was three or four attacks in the space before that. They all hit those walls. And they put the jump spell on the walls, and they would they they did so much work on those walls and all the tr on all the different buildings that were around those sets of walls that the that they only made it through the jump spell halfway on one attack. The jump spell expired on another attack, but he was able to get through uh, with the jump spell, get to the back side of the base, and he's got two sets of healers up still. So he's managed to get through the air defenses without the healers going down, and that's a huge asset. One of the biggest things you have to do in the slap attack is make sure that you path those healers away from those air defenses or make sure the troops that are going into the core, the kill squad, takes out the air defenses before the air defenses take out those healers because these troops catch a beating on the back side of this attack and you have to have the healers there to keep them alive. So the bowlers on the second bounce almost take out the air defense, not quite. And at this point right here, we have pretty much nothing that can hurt the troops. We fast forwarded through it. That's the end of the video. Uh, we have, I have so much footage from Creeper that we're going to fill up this web, web, web page. Go check out the web page. If you're not on the web page right now, uh, I'm posting this video on YouTube and I'm also posting it on a website. Again, the website is www.clashmadeeasy.com. It's a Clash of Clans guide. But it has a couple of our players, uh, we have pages from a couple of our players that have just done a phenomenal job for the clan. Uh, one of them is Creeper, the other one is Flex, who has his own attack as well. So, thanks to Creeper. Uh, can't say enough about him. I know I didn't talk about, uh, a lot about Creeper in the video, even though it's a one for him. <laughs> I suck. Everyone knows. <laughs> so, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for visiting the website. Thanks for visiting the YouTube channel. Thank you for playing the game. Just thank you all. Uh, appreciate everybody. Had a great time. Hope you had. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, Till next time. It's been easy. Take care, everybody.